This video is to glorify our Father God, Lord Jesus, Yahshua Mashiach, and the Holy Spirit within us, the Ruach Kadesh. Um, I want to make this video, and it's about new um, hell visions that I would get. Um, you know, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, I um. You know, here on earth, man, we really, you know, a lot of people idolize celebrities because they have money, idolize, um, you know, um, people because they have this, you know, and, um, and, 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 and it's like, we look to celebrities like, yo, they're this, they're that, but I tell you, it ain't even worth it for celebrities. You know, when I look at celebrities, in many ways, they're not even aware that this is all the heaven that they will receive. This life, this fallen world. This is all the heaven that many people will receive. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the many celebrities that I see now. You know, um... It was me and a brother in Christ, you know, me and him, we would talk on the phone, and the Lord would be present, of course, and he would give me visions, he would talk to me, and he would give this brother in Christ visions. You know, he would, I would hear Jesus. It's like I get vision, but me and this brother in Christ, it's like he's, like, to be honest with you, like, to be real, just like if this is Super Mario, man, it's like, you know what I'm saying, I'm Mario, he, he Luigi, or you know what I'm saying, I'm Luigi because I'm taller than him, and he be Mario, it's like, I don't know how you want to call work how you work it, but when we're together, the Lord gives them visions, and he speaks to me, I want to share this with you, um, when I seen, When it comes to celebrities, man, I, I just, when they're not with the Lord, I just feel for them. Sometimes I feel it. When I look at old pictures of them, it's just like, and it's heartbreaking. Um, it's a lot of people that people just know is with the Lord, but ain't. And it's, you know, and um, I'm going to get into it. Like, um. Me and his brother in Christ, you know, I would talk to him. I would bring up a name, and he would see him, and the Lord would speak to me. I never forgot the Lord would speak to me. Um, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to start with Robin Williams. Robin Williams, I like Robin Williams, man. I really did. Like, I loved his, I like, I, I loved his movies. I still like them to this day. Um, I really do. You know, and... um. But he had no regard for the Lord when he died. You know, and uh, and when I seen him, and in many ways, and I, and I realized as my brother in Christ would get these visions, the Lord would talk to me, and I'm seeing like we would have visions of the variety of torments in hell, man, and it was just mind blowing. Um. When I seen Robin Williams in hell, he, um, he was, um, he was on stage and the demons were forcing him to tell jokes. You know, he still looks recognizable, but, you know, still, like, deformed at the same time. You could recognize as him. And, um... And and it's like the demons will force him to tell jokes, comedic jokes, and it's like whenever he tell he he can't like and I was saying he can't like he can't tell no joke because he's petrified. He still in hell he still feels like it's a nightmare that he needs to wake up from. He still thinks of it as a nightmare. He still thinks he's sleep. And. He's always bracing for impact, you know, like some sort of impact. You know, he's petrified trying to tell jokes, you know, having a mic petrified. And, and, and it's like, you know, he's petrified and he's like, I shouldn't, I, I don't belong here. I shouldn't be here. 
because he's still thinking he's a nice person. He's a good person. When Jesus said, why do you call me? You know, when, when the Pharisee said to Jesus, good teacher, Jesus said, why do you call me good? Only the Father in heaven is good. He still thinks he's a good person. He still thinks he's a nice, you know, in the demons. But just, you know, as they would torment him, he's just bracing for impact. When a person, you know, when a person's in hell, it's like when they on the broad road, it's like when a person, you know, doesn't serve Jesus, their soul is already in hell. And when he died, after he hung himself, when he died, he and when he opened his eyes, he saw that just demons were around him, and they, and and they and they didn't prompt him right off because they wanted to see that terror. They wanted to see it on his face, you know, and they would find satisfaction and just see that terror in his face before they just prompt him and just rip him to shreds. And um, and in hell, he's still on stage, and they forcing him to. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they forcing him to tell jokes and he can't. He can't tell a good joke to save his life because he's petrified and he's always bracing for impact. This ain't to say, hey, I'm a Christian and I'm going to talk about with those of you that aren't Christians going to hell. Nah, man. This ain't what it's about. Those of you that follow me, this is not what this is about. What this is about is many people we regard, many people we look to, many people we want to be like. They don't see where these people, they don't see where these people are. The people that most people want to be like. And, um, Jesus, you know, when it comes to get visions, he give me visions, but I notice he's really, um, he, he's really selective of the visions he gives me. Because I think of things all the time. Like, I think of things all the time. Like, I, I do, I can't help it, I do. And he knows if he gives me a certain vision, I'll think of it all the time. But in such a case, um, I'm going to speak about Michael Jackson. And how when I seen Michael Jackson, um, he, um, the demons are forcing him to perform. Like dance, those dance he did on earth. And I just, I have visions where, it's, you know, and, and he's petrified, yeah, and, they, and they whip him, they hit him, they throw spears at him. And, um, my fault, I dropped the phone. They, um, they whip him, they hit him, they throw spears at him. You know, and it's just like, you know, like he can't stop dancing and he's petrified trying to do the moves. But he's petrified and if he don't do them well, they just... And they'll just hit him anyways, like dance, you know what I'm saying? Just and they just and and, and you know, and he's just scared and he just non stop dancing. You know, when I think about this, people don't understand the concept of hell, it don't stop. And like brothers and sisters in Christ, say it's ten thirty PM. You could go to sleep at ten thirty PM, wake up at eight PM or eight AM or eight, you know, six AM or whatever time, you know. You could wake up and do that. They can't. There's no stop for them. That's all they feel. That's all they know. That's all they notice. It does not stop. No rest. None. And he just danced nonstop. And he's been dead for what? Like almost for, for over five years. And in hell he's tormented. And he's dancing nonstop for five years. Another person, um, in hell that I seen, um, was, uh, Heath Ledger. You know, and Jesus would speak to me on him, you know, he would say, when Heath Ledger was alive, he had no regard for me. You know, he didn't care for me, you know, I'm, I, you know, he didn't. You know, and I was like, Heath Ledger? You know, when I first, you know, realized he was not with Jesus, that's like, I'm like, yo, you ain't let him in, you know, and I'm being, I'm being as goofy as I am. You ain't gonna let him in heaven after he did Joker, you know, and, um, but all jokes aside, he wasn't with him. And he was telling me he had no regard for me. None. And then, hell, he was pushing this mechanism. Like, you know, like, you know, like trying to push it forward. Like, imagine, you know, in a train station when you push the thing and it goes forward. Imagine you hold something like that and you always push 
this mechanism in a circular motion. And, and, and it's like his face was like a zombie. Like just, you know, he would flinch when he would just, you know, when he would get whipped. And the, and the demons, they would just whip him. Like he's not trying to run away. He knows this is his fate. He's been there since 2008. You know, he's just pushing this mechanism and he's not he, he's not running. He's not revolting. He's not trying to rebel. He's not trying to stand up. He's pu- and they're still whooping him just for the pleasure. He's just pushing this thing, knowing this is his fate. And um, that's all I seen when it came to him. Another person I seen was um Rick James, you know, um I never forgot Jesus when I when you know, I um I started seeing like these skits on the Chappelle show when Charlie Murphy would talk about him. You know, and I and I started, you know, I never forget, you know, how how he how Charlie Murphy would imitate Rick James, how he would just say, No suppliers. You know, how how Rick James used to talk. You know, and I never forgot I started doing it, but um and I don't listen to Rick James. I never have. And I um, never cared for him. Never. And I never forgot when Jesus, you know, um, when he told me he's not with me. And I heard in Jesus' voice this this, this anger. He didn't say, you know, and it's like the way he said it, he said it with more anger than he did sadness. When it came to Rick James. Like when he was alive and, and it's like and the Lord's putting when he was alive he regarded himself as God or like as God. Like, hey, I'm Rick James you know, like people say, Hey, you know, when he would say, I'm Rick James, you know what I'm saying? Rick James, which you know what I'm saying, when they you know, and he just and he and 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 he really regarded himself as God. He had no he was just grimy. As a person, Rick James was not a pleasant person at all. Like if if you uh, nobody just hey how you doing Rick you know he had no regard for you back when he was younger just you know what I'm saying he was just and um and Rick James was welded into a wall imagine your soul like welded into the volcano like wall and um you know just wedged there like you know imagine your wall you you know like quicksand you know when quicksand happens just you in the you know like, you know, like Jumanji, when he was welded in, when Robin Williams was in the floor. Same thing, you know, he was just wedged in the wall, forgotten about. And the lava would just come down, and he would just scream, just, ah, and just scream, ah, ah, you know, from being wedged in his wall, and it just lava just slowly pouring down on him. And, and I could tell he had no rest. Duh, no rest. Um, and then, um, I never forgot, you know, when it came to Tupac, I used to like Tupac a lot. You know, the songs he did, like, I wonder if heaven got a ghetto until the end of time. Um, when he did songs like that, if my homies call, you know, um, you know, I used to like Tupac a lot, man. I did. I ain't gonna lie to you, just cause a lot of songs really just spoke out to me, especially in the time. Like you know, I could I could quote his rap. Like you know, I never forgot. You know, I used to like his raps. Like cause I thought it was just like straight up. And I and I never forgot. I asked Jesus, you know, and I really asked him once. Like you know, I asked him, is he with you? And he would tell me, no, he's not with me. And I would say, is he alive? And he and he would say, Jesus would say to me, my son, I know of the rumors of him being alive, but he is dead. He's not alive. And he's in the place of the dead. He didn't say the place of the dead. That's me, but he was just saying, he's not with me. Jesus doesn't say to me, if a person, he doesn't say, like, hey, this person's in hell. He'll, he'll either say this person's with me or this person's not with me. Jesus, you know, Father God is the God of the living, not the dead. With that said, Tupac is in the place of the dead. And Jesus, you know, um, When it came to Pac, um, when I seen him, it's like we were in this 
we, I know it was still in hell, but we was in this. I was in this. Me and his brother in Christ, and I could see it. We were in this like. How, I, I couldn't explain it to you, but where he was, he was in this like museum in hell. Where it's like you know, like famous people would be, you know, and um, but they still going through torment. When I looked at Pac, Pac was cut up. His his his, like like a skull and crossbones. His arms were by his head. His his neck and his arms were plaque on the you know on the same plaque together. His legs were cut off. His upper body was cut off, and it was put in different places. And um, and he feels the pain of it. Imagine you cut off your hand. If you cut off your hand, it's going to hurt for a little while. Then it's going to go away after you do some stuff to it. You know, it'll still hurt. But, you know, but for him, as he's cut up, it still feels fresh. Like he just, like it just happened. And, um, and he feels that for all eternity, how it felt to be cut, to have your limbs cut, to cut your body parts cut up. And, um, and... In this place, it's like, you know, on, on Earth, man, Pop, just like, he liked the attention. He liked the attention. But in that place, he does the best he can not to draw no attention to himself. Not to make a sound, a peep, nothing. Um, he, um... In that place, he, um... Like, as the demons would walk past, you know... They would, you know, they would torment his, his, his body parts and he would just scream, just, you know, and, but I never forgot there was instances where the demons would look like they're going to walk past him and not look at him or walk past him and not mess with him. And then they would just come rush back like, hi, pop, and just torment his body parts. And he just screamed like, ah, and I don't know why, but um, from time to time, I would look up stuff with John Belushi. I don't know why. He died, like, before I was even born, like, five years before I was born. But when I saw John Belushi, he died of a cocaine, a cocaine heroin overdose, you know. And um, and when he, when I saw him, he was in this pool, like, in this pool of acid. And the lid was closed, you know, like... Like how you think of fish, but a human being's in that. A soul is in that. And he 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 feels the 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 the, the, the drowning sensation of having no air, and the and the and the, and the burning as the acid. And his body would be in that, just in that. And um. And then I seen Biggie, and uh, you know, you know, I, you know, I asked Jesus like Christopher Wallace. You know, I'm not gonna, add, you know, and when I seen Christopher, um, he was between two boulders as they would crush him, slowly crush him. You know, like like you know into like pancake, but not all the you know, and they would just crush him, and he was eternally being crushed by these two boulders. As they would just smash him and crush him. And I was just like, whoa. Um, another person, you know, um, I seen was, I never forgot when Philip Seymour Huffman, um, um, he uh um when he died, you know, the Lord told me right off, he's not with me. He didn't elaborate, he just straight up he is not with me. I didn't even look up how he died, you know, but I looked it up afterward. He died from heroin overdose. But the second he died when the Lord told me he's not with me, I saw him gnashing his teeth. I didn't see the torment. I just saw him, like, you know, when I say that, like, you know, just biting, you know, and I never forgot. In that place, you, you know, he's just, you know, just biting for all this worth, you know, on his teeth, you know, when, when you just, you know. And, um, 
And um, it was just gnashing. And um, and I, and uh, there was someone else that I seen in hell. Um, two other people, and this is it, cause I don't like talking about hell. I don't. Um, was a guy called uh, Lee Thompson. He did the famous Jet Jets, and I'm going to leave the Wikipedias of these people up, you know, that I'm talking about now. Um, oh, and I, two, no, three other people. Um, um, when I seen, you know, he, he died, he just offed himself. And Jesus told me, you know, when I asked him about him, he was telling me, you know, he, um, he wasn't, while well, he wasn't a person of pride, he was a person of vanity, like a rehearsed sincerity. You know, because you notice how, like, people that look good, they have this rehearsed sincerity because they used to people admiring them because they look like this or that. He had, he, um, he was a person of vanity. Like, you know, people like, oh, you look good. You look this, you're that. Oh, he looks, you know, he's a person of vanity. And, um, and the demons, and I was saying it just today, the demons were plucking out his eye they plucked out his eyes and they were ripping off his face i know how that sounds like someone just ripping off your face a man like ripping off your face and um and i was just saying that today um and there was another person. Um, I was going to forget about him, but I couldn't. Was Elvis Presley. He was in this museum in Howe. And, uh, he, um... He, um, was... Elvis... He looked like a skeleton. And he was in rags, and you know that pose he he's famous that people do. He was stuck in that pose with a mic in his hand, and he was a skeleton he um his clothes looked like rags, but his attire that he would perform in the thing that was horrifying was he was a skeleton, but his eyes would just look everywhere like. You know, just look everywhere. That's all they would do is just look around. And that's just petrifying, you know, just the You know, and he would just look around and I didn't even get that. And the last person this person is among the elite, and I don't say that in no nice way. You know, he's tormented by the elite of the elite tormentors. Was this guy who was claiming to be Jesus. He, um... You know, he, he would say, I'm Jesus, and he would have his followers or have on them 666. He died last year. He, you know, hey, you know, and he was claiming he's Jesus and he wanted his followers to have 666 on. And Jesus said, don't let anyone mislead you. For many will come in my name saying they're the Messiah or there he is. But don't go look. And um, when I seen him in torment, he was in this thing that resembled a hourglass, but it was just a glass with the lid put on. And in this glass, it's like, was lava and two demons tormenting them. And the demons aren't affected when the glass would go up, up and down. When the lava would come up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. You know, um, but he was. He, um... 
He was. You know, and, and, and we didn't see the torment, but he was just tormenting. He was just screaming nonstop. You know, the demons were still standing upright. But, you know, and 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 they were just tormenting him. You know, two giant demons tormenting him. Just tormenting him, tormenting him, tormenting him. And he's just screaming nonstop. Like, if you were to scream here on earth, you just, ah, ah, ah. And like, imagine someone screaming, taking no breath, just, ah, no breath, just screaming. And he was just being tormented, tormented, tormented. And, um, it was just horrifying. The lava would just come up and down. And these two demons would stand upright, still tormented. And they would be upright. They wouldn't even be affected. But he would receive all of it. The torment from these demons. The lava. The, 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 the up and down. Up and down real fast. He experienced all of it. Brothers and sisters in Christ. When I do these videos, I don't want no, I don't pocket no glory, I don't pocket no credit, I don't want no credit. I'm tempted to block, you know, the disabled comments because I don't care for them. No offense if I don't reply to you. Don't think I don't want to reply to you. You know, I live, I leave my number up, and and you could call me and text me if you want. Brothers and sisters in Christ, stay in the Lord's will, seek the Lord because you have nothing to worry about if you do. Just stay your best in the brothers and people that don't know Jesus. That just come across this saying, hey, says liberty is in hell. Repent. 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 Because nothing here is worth it. And many people who are the greatest here, as I tell you about their experiences in hell, they are. Many people who have the most here are in the place where they have nothing but their screams and their teeth to gnash when they're in torment. You know, I don't know what to say. But when you see it for your own eyes, you, you, you can't forget it. You know what you see and you can't take it back. You know, the rich man said when he was in the flames, you know, Send Lazarus to my father's house, for I have five brothers. Let them, warn them, tell them, so they don't have to come to this place of torment. And he's screaming it. You know, he's not saying it. And Abraham says to him, They have Moses. They have the prophets. Let your brothers hear them. No, no. But if someone goes to them from the dead, then they would prepare. And Abraham said, If they won't listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, even if someone is raised from the dead. Brothers and sisters in Christ, Father God honored the rich man's request. Because when you look at all the near-death experiences and what people have to share for them, you know, they are sent back and they warn people. But people won't listen. Even I, you know, brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, when you share about Jesus, it's like people don't listen. To you atheists out there, to you celebrities, you know, I don't expect this video to go to another, but to you celebrities that have your millions and your billions, to you people that have millions and billions, who, who, you know, you, you look at your worth, you look at your health, you look at how strong your bodies are, you look at every good thing you have. I tell you, when I explain what I explain, you're everything you have, God gave you. And you, if you do not repent, what you have will stand for nothing. All you have, all you have is your relationship with Jesus and, and, and how you help your neighbor. That's it, nothing else. But if this goes unignored, Abraham's words play in my mind. For if they won't listen to Moses, and if they won't listen to the prophets, they won't listen even if someone is raised from the dead. Brothers and sisters in Christ, stay in Jesus. Those of you that are not saved, get saved. For you do not know 
when your time is up. Because these celebrities that are in that place, they didn't know when their time was up. They just thought they had years and years and years. Peace.